Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on our virtual tour today of Chatham Central High School. We have a hidden gem here in Bear Creek and I'd like to show you what it's like. Come on inside. So as you enter Chatham Central, the first office that you come across is our guidance office, which is led by our guidance counselor, Ms. Sandra Young. In this office, Miss um, Kivett is the first desk you see. She is our receptionist and she keeps this office running because it mo operates multiple people. Um, our college coach operates out of this office. We have a Central Carolina Community College coach who works in this office, as well as our social worker, our school nurse. The military also collaborates out of this office for our students who are interested in the armed forces as a post-secondary option. As we continue down, our hallways. The one thing I want to make sure that I share with you is that Chatham Central is very focused on college and careers um, afterwards. And so you will see the, the halls talk with college banners, um, posters about various careers as we really help um, students realize their dreams. And this is my office. Um, operate really on an open door policy for both staff and students. I think it's safe to say um, that people are comfortable coming to ask questions or bring in ideas. We're always excited about new information. Right next to me is the office of Ms. Cox. She is our front office receptionist. This is the location where students who are checking in or checking out come here to do that. Um, if they need to bring notes, things of that nature, they see Ms. Cox. Our next office is that of Ms. Moore. Ms. Moore is our treasurer and our bookkeeper. Um, so she handles the finances for our school. And then at the very next office is that of Ms. Um, Walker. Ms. Walker is our attendance office um, and our data manager. She maintains grades, she maintains attendance, and she's the person that you see if you have notes so you make sure you can get credit when you go to the doctor. This area in our main hallway serves multiple purposes. Um, at the beginning of the school day, it's not uncommon to find lots of students hanging out um, spending time with their friends before they get ready to start the school day. It's a waiting area for our guests. Um, it's where our students wait if they're not feeling well. It's also the location where a lot of our teachers will enjoy lunch with each other. It's an awesome time of collaboration as they get a great view of the student um, courtyard that's maintained by our horticultural program. As we continue down the main hallway, we come to the office of our athletic director, Coach Bob Pegram. In addition to being our athletic director, Coach Pegram also teaches health and PE and is our elementary peer tutor teacher. We have 23 teams here at Chatham Central, um, teams who do very well in their respective sports, and we have a community that supports us greatly, and there's lots of bear pride brimming all throughout the area. Here we have the office of our assistant principal, Mr. Matt Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins is also a Chatham Central alum, and so it's really exciting to have him back here with us. Mr. Wilkins um, doesn't just take care of disciplinary issues, but he also um, supervises our buses. So if you have questions about a bus issue, he's definitely your go-to person, as well as any other questions you have about things happening here at Chatham Central. So we're now about to enter Junior Hall, and Junior Hall is filled with Lots of different classes we have. Our entire science department is on this hallway. Um, we also have two history classes. We have a computer class and our online learning lab is on this hallway. Also for students who have difficulties with um, technology, whether it's their laptop or some software issues, they can see um, Ms. Miesmore and Ms. Sprouse for assistance with that. Chatham Central is a national demonstration school for AVID. And in that you'll find as we go through the hallways, there will be thank you notes from students for um, teachers use of Wicker. Um, I will share with you some of the Abbott College acceptances from where our students are going. Um, and then throughout, you'll also see the type of assignments and work students are doing. So right here, we have Mr. Eric Patton. Mr. Patton is one of the Abbott elective teachers. Um, this year, he is the senior Abbott elective teachers and in that, role he spends a lot of time with helping our seniors get prepared to apply for college. As you look at the map here you will see all of the different places where our students have been accepted to colleges such as Elizabeth City State, East Carolina, North Carolina Central, UNC Greensboro, High Point University, Mount Olive, and many many others. As we continue on down the hallway 
we come to the classroom of Miss Lori Page. Miss Page is not only an avid elective teacher, she is our avid coordinator. Um, she also teaches U.S. history. So as the AVID coordinator, she works with all of the AVID elective classes to make sure that our program is um, run with fidelity and to make sure that students and teachers have what they need. Right here to my right, we have our science lab. As I stated before, all three of our science teachers are on this hallway, and this gives them an opportunity to do experience, um, experiments and other experiences for students as they explore their interest in science. Welcome to our online learning lab. This lab is run by Coach Sherman Howes. Coach Howes coaches football, track, and wrestling. But in his role as our online learning lab facilitator, he also serves students in three different areas. So some students who are assigned to this class are taking community college classes through Central Carolina Community College. Not only are these students earning high school and community college credits, they also are making themselves eligible for Chatham Promise, which if they meet the guidelines, they're able to attend Central Carolina Community College for free, um, which will give them a free associate's degree. Other students who are assigned to this class are enrolled in our North Carolina Virtual Public Schools. Um, these students are taking classes that maybe we're not able to offer here seated because we're so small. So they'll do some of their AP classes that way. Um, they'll do some of their world languages classes that way other than Spanish. Um, courses like that. And then the third group of students who operate out of this particular classroom are students enrolled in credit recovery. Students enrolled in credit recovery are those students that maybe had some challenges in the class, um, didn't quite do everything they needed to do to earn the credit, and this is their opportunity to recover that credit, um, and all of this is done online. Chatham Central is one-to-one, -one, and so every student is assigned their own Chromebook, and so these students are able to take advantage of these three opportunities. So now we're in our student commons, and our student commons actually serves a couple of purposes. Um, it's where students hang out before school. It's also where they enjoy um, breakfast during break time. They eat their lunch in the student commons. It's also not odd to find students working on individual projects, even during class time, um, where they'll get in small groups and they'll come scatter out in the commons to work on various projects. As we continue to move on, we're gonna head to the cafeteria. Um, our cafeteria has three microwaves, which is really important for people who bring their lunch. Um, we have a hot line and we have an a la carte line. And the other really neat thing you'll find about our cafeteria is that even in the cafeteria, we promote a college going culture. As you'll notice, um, the logos on the wall of the cafeteria. So as I mentioned, we really promote our college going culture throughout our school. Um, and that happens even here in the cafeteria. So in the cafeteria, you will find that students are constantly being able to see various logos of colleges, not only in the area, but out of state. What we want to make sure our students understand is, is that no dream is too big for them to achieve, and we will do everything we can to help them reach those goals. So you'll see colleges um, that are well known and very large, such as the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. You will find logos of colleges that are out of state because we want to help students understand that out of state um, is an option for them if that's what they want to pursue. We also have Central Carolina Community College because at Central Carolina Community College, we offer courses here where students are earning credits, as I talked about earlier. Um, and then they also have the opportunity for Chatham Promise, which is the chance to attend their community college for free and get that two-year associate's degree. So here at Chatham Central, we have something really interesting that happens at lunchtime. Um, everybody has lunch during the same hour. Um, and we call that Empower Hour. And the reason we call it Empower Hour is because the first 30 minutes of Empower Hour, teachers will offer study sessions. Study sessions are available for students who feel like there's something they don't understand or they're having a hard time with. We also require study sessions for students if they have below an 80 um, in the class or on a test. And that gives them an opportunity to get some additional assistance from their teachers. So what you see here is our Empower Hour study session board. 
So if a student is not really sure when their teacher is available for study sessions, then they, they can always come to the student's commons and reference who's having what study session when. Um, again, you don't have to be required to go, but if you have below an 80, you are. The other thing that happens during the second half of Empower Hour is, is when we offer our clubs. And so teachers who have clubs, um, that happens then. Um, a lot of our arts teachers will do like volunteer course or volunteer band during that time. If you don't have to go to a study session, then you have basically an hour to hang out with your friends or you can get up a study group and go to the media center. Um, later you'll see our senior hall where students hang out. Um, and then of course it's an opportunity for, to do clubs as well and do some outside activities and we'll talk about those when we get a little closer to some of the fields. So as we begin to enter the yellow brick road, and I must say that um, this was painted by our students, and you'll find throughout our school various murals that are um, student-generated and student-painted. In this area, we have our art department, we have um, our testing room for students who need some assistance during testing, and then we also have a culinary arts program. So come on in. Ms. Bolden is our art teacher. Um, in our art program, you'll find students working with a variety of mediums. So that for it gives um, students an opportunity to find out what their interests are, what they're really good at, um, but it's also challenging as well for them. She also has included a cartooning club, and so students who are interested in art and interested in cartooning, that's an opportunity for them. Um, she has an art club that has a National Art Society um, attached to it. As you go farther down the hall, you will find our culinary arts program. Our culinary arts program is one of our career technical and education programs. It also not only teaches students about restaurant style cooking and being prepared, those students have an opportunity to earn safe serve credentials, which is what you find when you go to restaurants um, and there are people there. So our students leave here equipped to walk into restaurants to work based on their time in the culinary arts program. The culinary arts program also has a catering component to it as well called Bear Club Catering. And it's not uncommon to find Bear Club caterer caterers performing not only just at events here, but in lots of areas in the county in addition to people's weddings um, and other celebrations. So we're now entering Senior Hall and one of the key people here at Chatham Central High School is our school resource officer, which is Deputy Herbie Stubbs. Um, you'll find Deputy Stubbs patrolling the hall just because he's always interested in what's going on. But the other benefit is he is a Chatham County Sheriff's Deputy, which means that as our students run into some challenges like maybe a traffic ticket or if they have a bump up in the parking lot, he's always willing to assist them and kind of guide them in ways of what they need to do next or next steps. Also on this hallway, we have um, Ms. Burke, who is one of our CTE teachers. She does business in addition to being um, our girls golf coach and our girls basketball coach. And next to her is Ms. Amy King, and Ms. King teaches American History One and American History Two. Ms. King also is an alum of Chatham Central High School. And what you'll find is about a third of our um, staff here all graduated from Chatham Central, which helps it be very family oriented and just a really nice place to be. So we're now inside of the Media Center, which serves multiple purposes, it is led by Ms. Danielle Reynolds Brooks, who collaborates very effectively with our teachers. She helps students with projects. She teaches research strategies um, in terms of um, not only how to find information, but also uh, citing things appropriately. Um, what you'll also notice is um, that she has against the wall our journey to college and careers. And what she's been able to do is highlight um, students' pathway from not only their respective feeder schools, but then their time here at Chatham Central. And then what you'll find at the end are references to both colleges and careers, because our goal again is to get students where they want to be.
Um, because we are one-to-one -one and every student has a Chromebook, this is also where students are able to come and print things that they need to submit for class. And so there's a printer over there that's designated specifically for students. So when they have projects or things that they need to submit to teachers um, and need a printed copy, they can come and print from there and it's free of charge. This is also a location where um, in the morning, when students arrive to school between 6.45 and 7.30, then all students report here. During that time, we call zero hour on Ms. Moore, who you met earlier as our um, bookkeeper. She manages this time and students are able to work on credit recovery. Some students are just here studying and actually some are just resting before the school day begins. Um, and then during Empower Hour, this is another location where you'll find a lot of students and the purpose of them being in here is that they're either A, looking for a very quiet place to be or a place to study. And so you'll find small study groups as students are preparing probably for that fourth period class or that test that's coming up. So in this offshoot of Senior Hall, we have two classes. One, we have Mr. Cerner's class. Mr. Cerner teaches Spanish one through four. It's our one seated. Um, world language class. All other world languages are done through North Carolina virtual public schools. Um, Mr. Cerna is really good at bringing Spanish to life as students get some real authentic experiences um, on the culture as well, well as the language. Ms. Henshaw teaches English. Um, she teaches AP English as well as um, English too. Ms. Henshaw is also our Upward Bound Coordinator, and so we have students who are in the Upward Bound Program, which is a collaborative with the University of North Carolina of Chapel Hill. So we have now entered what we call Freshman Hall. Freshman Hall, this section is predominantly English classes, and then we also have a basic life skills class at the end of the hallway. Um, these teachers teach all grade levels. Um, they also teach AP language or AP composition um, and as we go through I will also share with you one of the entrances to our gym. As you go down you'll be able to see lots of the various types of assignments that students are doing so for us it's more than just paper pencil it's also more than just what um, we're submitting on laptops but you get to see the students um, creativity and how they're able to take that knowledge and synthesize it into a final project such as this one or as storyboards such as these. Students really enjoy doing storyboards. Chatham Central boasts a rich athletic history here. There are many state champions in terms of teams as well as individual state champions as well. Um, what you'll find here that probably makes me the most proud in addition to the hard work of our athletes and our coaches um, is the community support and the community spirit. And so it's not uncommon for all of our sports events to find many people in the community here, even people who haven't had students here in decades, um, people who have grand grandchildren here. Um, they all come out to support us um, and to demonstrate that bears pride. And I think it really shows um, the dedication of this community to our school. Um, and it shows just how interconnected the community and the school are. And as we continue down Freshman Hall, we have several classes on this hallway as well. We have an English class. Um, right here, we're standing in front of Ms. Martin's class. She teaches our health sciences program. Um, these students are students who have interest in the health fields. Um, they actually end up with an opportunity to go work um, outside of the school to earn credits for CNA, licenses, things of that nature. As we continue down the hallway, um, we will come on the office of Mr. Cavanis, who is our career development coordinator. He's the person that students go to when they're seeking out part-time um, work opportunities, as well as those students who are really interested in going directly from high school into careers. Also in that same suite is our um, ESL teacher, she works primarily with our students who have English as a second language as they begin to acclimate themselves here um, at Chatham Central High School. 
Mr. Little is our PE teacher. He teaches health and PE. He teaches um, advanced PE as well as weightlifting. And as we go on down the hallway, we'll go into two other of our CTE programs, our ag program and our carpentry program. So here we are in our carpentry shop. Students who enroll in these classes um, have the opportunity to range from making um, airplanes and toolboxes for their families to all, also moving up to making um, sheds. They go out into the community and help build porches, um, decks, things of that nature. So those students are really getting some hands-on experience um, in the carpentry world and those students are, are very interested in pursuing that career once they leave. So this is an opportunity for them to have some hands-on experience early to find out if it's something that they're really interested in and passionate about. So um, we are now in our um, greenhouse which is run by our ag department, um, award-winning ag department might I add, who consistently goes to nationals um, to compete at the national level because of the work that they do here. So students interested in um, floriculture, horticulture, then they would take classes with Mr. Hart. Um, they begin by learning plants and plant identification to actually grow in all of the plants that you see here. They do two major fundraisers with their plants during Christmas time. They do a poinsettia sale um, where they sell to communities. And then we're in the midst now of wrapping up our spring sale. At that time, they're selling plants for people to put out in their yards. They even um, sell potting soil. And so this is actually student work that we're in the midst of, um, of our students who are very invested in our horticultural program. We have four greenhouses that are maintained by students. Um, and those students at the higher levels of this course actually got into the community and do some landscaping as well. So I really hope that you enjoyed this opportunity for me to share with you what a dynamic gym Chatham Central is. Um, of course, if you're ever interested in coming to visit or very interested in our CCVA program, you can give me a call. I'm Dr. Carla Eames, or you can contact our counselor, Ms. Sandra Young. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.